Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be talking about a very interesting vulnerability. We all have heard of zero day vulnerability, right? Now I'm going to be talking about a vulnerability called 0.0.0.0 day vulnerability. What does that mean? Right? To understand a little more about this particular uh, vulnerability, let's dive right into it. A Israeli company called Oligo Security, right? They have identified a very interesting bug or a vulnerability that has been into existence for the last 18 years. Let me get started saying, never underestimate the power of a vulnerability that has been residing for many, many years, right? Let me tell you this. What does it mean when I say local host? We know that it is a representation of the system by itself, right? We call the system itself, right? Like that 127.0.0.1, it means the same system, right? It's, it's otherwise a local host. Like that, there are some operating systems where they have not explicitly mentioned exceptions. They just say 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. But is it representing a local host or is it representing a self interface? No, it is not. But there are applications where you have not had, uh, you don't have a specific exception written saying that it does not mean itself, right? For example, browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox and Safari has this issue, right? Also, Linux has this issue. Also, Macintosh has this issue. And believe me, this issue has been there in existence for last 18 years, right? Okay, now, having said this vulnerability is there for 18 years, what can this vulnerability do? What can this vulnerability really do? For example, think of this, you go to google.com. From your computer, you go to google.com. And this request is coming back with a reply or a response from Google server, right? It can come back to your computer, but it will come till your network device or a router, right? From that router, it uh, pushes the data or response to your computer because there is something called the NAT happening or the network address translation happening. Yes or no, right? That is how a external site or an application is able to connect to a system that is internal to a network. When you go to google.com, query goes, coming back to a router, from the router, it goes to the internal network, right? So, think of this vulnerability as like this, right? What if the initiation from, is not from within, right? When I say initiation is not from within, it means that, say you are, not, you are from a LAN, then you are doing a browsing or surfing a website that's outside your LAN, right? So the response back comes back to the public router and then it is rerouted to the exact machine, right? So the path is clearly traversed back, yes or no? Perfect. Likewise, what happens is in a Macintosh or a Linux machine or Google Chrome or Firefox kind of both operating system and browser, what happens is there are applications, right? from external, when you're browsing the application, they can actually initiate a request to the browser to port uh, any port on the IP 0.0.0.0. When it happens to do that, it means that it's already having access to a internal intranet resource. If this attack is possible and the attacker is able to do it, he would also be able to do a port scan on the remaining set of systems on the intranet. Am I clear? Right? This particular attack is called the 0.0.0.0 day vulnerability attack. So what do I do as an end user to prevent this attack? First of all, please update your uh, you know patches and hot fixes promptly on time, number one. Number two is please do make it a point you have PNA enabled, private network access enabled, which means that if you have this option enabled, the response traffic cannot hit a 0.0.0.0, .0 IP address, which is considered as a local host. In that way, what happens is your system will stay 
secure and safe right the external response will not be able to reach a internal machine in case you face or you have worked on something of similar sort please do comment on the section below if you are someone who has worked on rip protocols ospf protocol or any other such uh, routing protocols please do share in your uh, thoughts in the comment section below and in case you did like this consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity